guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is maddie i do videos currently of motherhood as i am a first-time mom but i plan on doing more lifestyle mom contact and many more so i hope you enjoy and happy new year and hopefully you had a good holiday um i just did a video talking about my breastfeeding journey with my son and in today's video, we're going to talk about, I was going to try to do 10 items, but it's more like eight items of stuff that I personally don't like. Other people might like, babies are all different from one to the next. So my next baby might like it, but this baby doesn't. So... And I know I, as a first time mom, you like research a lot of stuff. So I have also researched a lot of this, but it's either I didn't like them even after buy, getting them from my registry or me buying them or even my baby not even liking them. So let's get into this. Video. So let's start off with the first item and that is the diaper genie or any of the diaper pails, anything similar. So I had it on my registry and I got one from one of our um, like friends. It was nice, I guess. Like, yeah, we need it. But when we were building it, we, it, it, we built it okay. But there was some like issues. And then when we moved to our new place, it just completely broke. And honestly, we weren't really using it. And even though we got it, we just used a regular trash can with trash bags because we take out our trash like practically every day. So practically you didn't really need it. I know it, it kind of helps with like the smell, but if you're taking out your trash every day, like most people do it for us, it just didn't make sense for to have the diaper genie. It was like a nice concept to kind of like hide that there's diapers in it. But if you take out your trash every day, it's not really a big issue. And most people, when they come and visit your house, they aren't looking in your trash. So the second thing is clothes. I know there is so many cute clothes and you just want to buy a ton of clothes. But as like what I did is I bought some clothes. I got received a lot of clothes. And then I also uh, went to like thrift stores or consignment stores for baby clothes just so that I didn't have to pay a hefty price because baby clothes can be pricey or I get clothes on clearance but you know babies grow out of their clothes real quick so the first point for clothes is oh my gosh people 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 bought me a lot of clothes for newborns in zero to three months so my baby when he was born was eight eight pound over eight pounds almost nine pounds it the only i think the only two brands that he could fit in that were newborns were carter's and i think the disney brand those were the only two newborn like clothes that he can wear um and we got a lot of other cute clothes. It's just practically like those onesies and the pants that match. I put them in a couple times in them, but it was just so much harder because like you have to constantly change their diapers because they're going to the bathroom so much or they're spitting up. It just didn't make sense. It was just so much easier to just have them in sleepers in that. But I got more clothes of newborns than I did. And Another point of clothes is, yes, there is a lot of cute newborn clothes, but I would refrain from getting them in the newborn. Maybe size a lot up. I personally bought clothes up to at least six to nine months because I just didn't know how fast my baby will grow into the clothes. So I just had those on hand. And then what I also did for clothes this is another part is people buy you a lot of clothes, even if you don't put any clothes on your registry or the minimum. 
is they buy a lot of pattern clothes or stuff they think is they think is cute. You may not think it's cute. So, I don't know. It's kind of hard to like be really strict to say, I don't want any clothes. There's too many clothes. Or they just give you clothes. Um, I personally kind of like the more neutral and not too boyish clothes. Just so if I have a next kid, it's a girl, I can use some of those clothes. But I do like some prints, but some of them I don't like. But I did get a lot of cute clothes. Um, and of course I got them from newborn to three and six months. And I got a couple six to nine, but a lot of them were all those tinier sizes. Like my son, once he was in newborn clothes for at least a week and then he went to zero to three months. And he was that in that for maybe about two months. And then in November, he started wearing three to six months. And now for Christmas, a lot of people got three to six months clothes. So you need to make sure, like with holidays or with your registry, to talk about clothes, either not get you clothes or get you other stuff that are more practical. So baby product three. Don't get me wrong on this thing. I did like it for other reasons, but I did not like it for nursing. And that would be the boppy breast pillow. It just was like bulky. It wasn't like, I don't know. My son liked his head a little higher up on the nipple and it was just kind of hard to do that. It didn't have any back support. I don't know. I just, mm. I didn't like it for nursing though, but I love it for the timing time to sit him in so I can get ready, but I could still see him. I like it for that. And he loves it. He just chills there in it. But I personally don't like it. I would like to try either this snuggle me um, nursing pillow or try to do the breastfeeding pillow. Those I know people like, but I personally didn't like the boppy breastfeeding pillow. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the lounger that was just recalled. I'm talking about the breastfeeding pillow. You can also use it for tummy time and them sitting up for aid. But I didn't like it for nursing. For the fourth item. I... I did get quite a bit. I got some even muslin, like regular uh, blankets. I just use them as blankets. I never really like did the swaddles for him. Just because he liked his arms out, his kind of his feet out. He didn't really, he did like being swaddled, I think like the first week, but he really just wanted his arms out. And yeah. So the swaddles, and it was really hard for me to do the swaddles. Like everyone else had made it seem easy, but I still couldn't figure it out. Um, sorry. And then a lot of people got me the swaddle knees. Those are the Velcro ones. Those were fun, like kind of easy, but they were hard. I would probably try to get maybe next time the swaddle up because they're kind of a little different and I think it, my son would have liked it if I could have used it for him because his arms would have been like up. But that was the fourth item that I did not like and I regretted getting. The fifth thing. Some people use it, some people don't. So I, as a first time mom, I didn't know necessarily like a all the things I needed and what I don't need. Now I kind of do. Um, was the bottle warmer. So I was trying to heat up because I had some milk that I just like pumped that I had in the fridge, but it was cold. And my baby likes room temperature or warm milk. So and when he gets hungry, he gets hungry. And so... It just, I could not figure that thing out. It was taking so long to get warm. I just ended up getting a, 
um, heating up my tea kettle, getting it warm and pouring it in a, a bowl and then having the bottle sit in it until it just got to the right temperature. And that's what I found was the easiest. I, I tried to do the bottle warmer. I just couldn't figure it out. For me, it just didn't work out for me. It might work for our other people, but the bottle warmer was not my thing. It was a little complicated to understand how it worked or it would get really hot. Um, the sixth item is, so the sixth baby product is the sound machine. So I didn't get like a normal sound machine. I got this like portable, it's like this animal thing. And you can just like hang it on your car seat or on the stroller when you're out or near him when he's sleeping. And it makes sounds like just works as like a sound machine too. But I just like hated always like remembering I needed to put new batteries if it died or charge it. And it was nice as a sound machine because it was portable. But it also like there's different sounds. There's one sound that's kind of creepy. And I didn't like it. And I know there's like mixed reviews. Some people are like, don't use sound machines. The baby will get too used to them. And if it dies, it'll instantly wake up. So from the, guy, from the start, my son just got so used to just falling asleep. No matter what sound or what environment is around him. He could just sleep. Like you could have a vacuum on and he could sleep. For example, my sister had the the shop back and was like um cleaning all the tree particles when we put in the tree at my parents house so he had no problem sleeping through that vacuum um the seventh um so the last baby item that i regret ever getting or putting on my registry was I received a ton of baby towels and washcloths and birth cloths, but the birth cloths are not as many as I got of baby washcloths and towels. Yes, I will be using them, but I do my laundry quite often, so it just doesn't make sense to have that many. But that's my regret only <laughs> is to put that on my registry because I could have just like bought it myself and just knew I needed this much and that's all I really needed. Um, the cute hooded towels that I got were really cute. Um, but I think I only really use, honestly, like one of them is like the main one. And then I just use the other one as just a regular towel for him. But that's it. I, but the rest, I have a ton of towels and washcloths that are baby washcloths for him. And I probably only use like maybe two or four of them. So... That's what I regret. So I hope this video has helped you like kind of go through like knowing what baby products personally that I regretted buying or regret getting for my baby registry. But I know every, it's just my personal list. Every person is different and every baby is different. Your baby might like them or not. You might like them or you may not. So I know that everyone is different. You, we all have different opinions. So that was just my reasoning and why I just didn't like them. I hope you enjoyed this video and go check out my, some of my previous videos and stay tuned for some other content. Bye.